Hey everyone, Ray from LoveyRV.com back with you once again with my trusty sidekick, Angelina Beagleina. How's it going, Angie? Pretty good. So, a quick one today. I'm just going to install a fuse on my battery bank. This is a fuse from Blue Sea Systems that I picked up on Amazon. And Let's see some of the features. Compact high amp fuse appropriate for DC main inverter. Windlass and bow thruster circuit protection provides high circuit, high current protection in tight space constraints. Ignition protected when used with Blue Sea Systems MR FB terminal fuse. Isolated stud design uses standard M8 hardware and permits stacking of terminals. Insulated cap prevents accidental shorts, accepts five sixteenth inch ring terminals, fuse sold separately. So yeah, that thing's going to go right on my positive um, battery bank output terminal there. And this is the fuse that I picked up, a 200 amp fuse to, to put into that fuse block. So, let's go outside into the storage compartment and I'll sort of explain why I want this. Okay, so here we are in the front storage compartment of the fifth wheel where my battery bank lives. And you can see here I have quite a large fuse already installed. So most people call that a catastrophic fuse. Um, it's also sometimes referred to as a terminal fuse. And it's basically my last line of defense against, say, short circuit involving the batteries. Um, you can see on this side I have all my 12 volt loads. And then they go through a, a, a fuse. And then this wire goes into my battery bank. So say I dropped something across here like a tool while I was working on it and created a direct short to the across the batteries rather than the wiring overheating melting causing damage or even a fire then this this fuse would go as a final fail safe now this uh, fuse was gifted to me by a buddy of mine and he helped me install it um, I've always been a little leery of this side here because this line into the battery isn't fused so there's a plastic cover on it I was always leery that something could happen. Um, maybe I'd cone out and, and accidentally uh, put a tool across it or have something in this storage bay that went across it. So I've recently seen these online and they're from Blue Sea and they go, they go right on the battery terminal. And then the fuse, this is the same type of fuse, a class T fuse which means it's super fast acting and it'll blow really quick and I can I can mount that and mount it right on the terminal inside this box so let me just pull the the battery box apart and give you a look at the the bank in there there we are you can see my four uh, interstate golf cart batteries so I'm going to install this uh, fuse right here terminal fuse right on this um, 12 volt uh, output. First I'll just assemble the, the fuse block here. Um, it comes separate, the fuse is separate from the block. I think the block runs around 15 bucks and same with the fuse. Um, I'm also gonna coat the mating surfaces with this stuff called OxGuard. It's just a uh, antioxidant compound. It should improve the conductivity make it run a bit cooler and keep it from oxidizing. I've used it on all my uh, all my battery con <coughs> connections and it's really helped. I haven't had any problems with uh, bad connections. So there we go. Pretty simple. Nice little uh, rubber top for it. Give it some protection. Now I'm protected right at the post. <laughs> All sewed up again, looking good. I think I'll just leave this this one here the way it is. It makes kind of a nice uh, DC uh, positive bus bar for me. At least now if I drop something on this end, short it out, I have the protection inside with the fuse. Um, you might be wondering why I went with 200 amp. 
Um, basically with the with these fuses the main thing is you want it to blow before your wiring cooks or any any problem happens there but you need it high enough that a normal maximum load won't blow the fuse and these things run 15 bucks each so you don't want to be blowing them all the time so the calculation I went was with my 1000 watt inverter um, actually this this particular motor master inverter has a a 2000 watt surge so it can surge to 2000 watts at time so uh, I think they call for a, a 175 amp breaker or fuse on them um, I decided to go to 200 if you take two, the calculation of 2000 watts and the low the lowest voltage this thing the sh low shutdown voltage is 10.5 amps so if you do the calculation you come up with 190 maximum amps so uh, I think I'll be okay with 200 I actually never use this higher than 800 watts the biggest load that I use it for is a little shop vac and that's the main reason I went with an 80 amp breaker here because that's basically the max I, I ever pull up, pull into out of the batteries when I'm running this so it's always good to go with the, the lowest amperage fuse you can Anyway, until next time, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Happy trails, folks. Okay, Angie, let's go for a walk. Want to go for a walkie? Hey, Deaf Beagle. Deaf Beagle. <laughs> yeah, I think she does.